Now, you are probably aware of Hollywood, and you may have heard of Africa's biggest movie producer, Nollywood, in Nigeria. Now, we bring, we bring you the story of Wakali Wood. This is a film studio located outside Kampala, Uganda, where Ugandan filmmaker dubbed Africa's Quentin Tarantino has been churning out action-packed hits that are grabbing an international audience online. Sergino Rusblad has more. These are scenes from Who Killed Captain Alex, released in 2010. The trailer went viral online and since then the fan base for Walika Wood's low-budget films has only grown in Uganda and abroad. The movies are packed with kung fu battles, gunfights and suspense, but director Isaac Nabwana says for all the explosions, his movies are also about real life. There are so many stories, like Who Killed Captain Alex is depicting a picture of you know, the ghetto life. Uh, where we see, you know, uh, boy, I mean, me, you, young, uh, uh, taking marijuana or something like that, and then they become hostile, and the government chases them, something like that. <laughs> the actors rehearsed the studio's current production, Ugandan Expandables. Isaac started Walika Wood in 2005, inspired by Chinese-American film star Bruce Lee and American TV series like Hawaii Five O. His wife was skeptical of his dream at first. It needs a lot of money, and we don't have that money. So where will we get that? And he said, I want to do action movies. And I said, oh my goodness, action movies? You're crazy. Where will we get the, the real guns? The solution has been to make what they need from scrap, like this crane. Walika Wood has produced 40 films, all written and directed by Isaac. We make everything as a team. Uh, we sit. First we sit and we say, okay, here is the script. Now, what are we going to do? Okay, we exchange ideas. And if we, we need like a house in the movie, so <laughs> someone, do you have a house? Yeah, I can provide. Some, who has a car? Oh, me, I can borrow. Okay, we do it like that. And the stunts are performed by the actors. Yeah, in fact, it is difficult because it has some pains. Because, you know, action, action movies, uh, we normally do something which is next to reality. So if it means to fall, fall down. If it means to kick or to be kicked or punch. It takes Isaac about a month to complete a film, which he also edits and distributes. He puts them on YouTube and sells DVDs in Uganda. U.S. and European fans have helped finance his new pictures via online crowdfunding campaigns. His latest film, Ugandan Expendables, is slated for release in April. Serginho Rosblad for VOA News, Kampala.